Welcome class, Kingdom citizens. Today we're going to be looking at a real life case study of a financial influencer on YouTube by the name of Nam Win. This is someone that I've had the pleasure of meeting in person, having a conversation with, and over the last couple of weeks I've been actually binge watching this person's content because I'm in the process right now of acquiring another vehicle uh, for just in my life. I need another car. And so when I was searching how to find the best lease payment, the best deal, what to look for, pricing numbers, this guy's material came up when I first found him. And since then he has just created just amazing content around car buying, whether it's leasing, renting, or new financing. I mean, just phenomenal information around that. So the purpose of this video is to use his YouTube channel and the business just to analyze it from an outsider, right? As a fellow content creator, looking at all of the things that he has going on. And this is going to benefit those of you who are my clients that are trying to build businesses by creating content online and specifically those who are trying to become financial coaches, financial content creators, financial influencers, consultants, strategists, you're looking to create personal finance content here would be a perfect success example case study of what certain things you can pull from this creator right that you're like okay i like that i like what he's doing here i like what he did here i like this i like that i don't like that i'll take that out and you can customize it for yourself this is also a great way to simply follow successful paths follow the footsteps of those that came before this way you're not out here trying to reinvent the wheel this way you're not out here trying marketing strategies that are either outdated or don't work you get to see a real life case study that is a, a 2022 going back as far as 2018 or 2019 i believe is when he started his youtube channel so we get to see real raw data raw numbers in the 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 current process of where this person is at so let's take it to the whiteboard and really break down this particular YouTuber, his numbers, all that good stuff. So this is what I've pulled. This is me recording this video in November, the day before Thanksgiving, right, is when I'm recording this video. So these numbers, by the time I post this video, all of these numbers will likely increase, get better, who knows, right? Depends on whatever his strategy is, he might go viral again, might jump. So full transparency, these are numbers based on November 23rd, 2022. His largest following is TikTok, 233,000 followers. But I want to say he started his journey on YouTube, which has 197,000 subscribers, over 12 million views. I want to say near 13 million views total, right? Near 13 million, just under 13 mil. Instagram, 48,000 followers. Twitter and LinkedIn, obviously not too much activity there. His focus seems to be YouTube and then recreating his uh, long form content and educational videos into shorts, reels, stories. And that's where he's been able to build a pretty good following over here on the Instagram and the TikTok. That's what I'm observing based on the research that I've done around his whole entire business model. Right. So if you add up all those numbers, he is sitting pretty uh, total across all platforms, right around 478,000, 73 followers, upwards of a half a mil, probably more by the time I post this video. And I want to say this all got achieved within four years or less. I went on his website, said he started in 2019 summer. His YouTube channel was started in August of 2018. So I'm not sure if he was actually posting anything or if he just, just created an account, but didn't actually start creating content till summer of 2019. So give or take three or four years, right? Now, I don't know what this person makes. I don't know what he's generating. What I did was I took all of the different products and services that he's providing and took all the numbers, listed them all out. And then I base it off of a 1% conversion rate, guys. This is super, super conservative. He's probably making way more than what I'm illustrating. The, the reason for me illustrating these numbers in this, in this way is to show you the massive opportunity in the marketplace today. It's insane, okay? So here are his service breakdowns, products, DIY products, coaching calls, things like that. So he's got 
three products. These are these are things that you can just go right on the website and now actually we'll actually go to his website so you can see what it looks like and what the products are. He's got a four dollar and ninety nine cents product, he's got a twenty seven ninety nine cent product, and a thirty four ninety nine product. These are one time purchases, right? Purchase one time, boom, you have the product. Then he has courses, also one time payment of ninety nine dollars and a two hundred and ninety seven dollar course. Both of them look like DIY courses, right? Then he's got, I, I'll call it coaching and consulting. He just, it's just, he just called it a one-to-one, -one, right? And so for 30 minutes, right, via Zoom, and I believe the call is recorded so you can actually have that for, you know, replay if you're the, the customer and you're asking him critical questions around your finances. For 30 minutes, he charges $249 for every 30 minutes. And then for every hour, it's $349 per hour. All right, so those are his by the hour or by the 30 minute consulting rates. From there, he's got affiliates, a multitude of affiliates. Probably, I'm, I'm probably missing a bunch of them, but I summarized them and said, okay, he's got a bunch of credit card affiliates, right? This is a financial content creator, okay? He's positioning himself as providing financial education, helping you make better financial decisions. And then he's got certain areas where he really doubles down on or i should say what he became more known for how i found him right and for me one of the areas that i think he really hits on a lot is car buying it's a very big purchase that everybody will make at some point in time here in the united states you're gonna need a car at some point in time right so that's either gonna be financing a new car a used car leasing lease swaps right taking over pre-existing leases i mean how to get out of a i mean you name it all things car buying this is the go-to guy then the the second thing i would go to him for is credit card recommendations he creates a lot of footage on that so within that he's got all these different affiliate programs so he's got credit card affiliate relationships partnerships credit building relationships partnerships um, loans, investment apps, and then he probably has links for all the different products that he uses for his studio. I've seen it on the, on the bottom of a lot of his videos where he's like, this is my mic. This is my camera. This is my lighting. Anytime you click that, he'll, he's getting a couple dollars, a couple dollars, a couple dollars. Right. And let me tell you that stuff adds up like no other. Right. So now what I want to do, I gave you the following products and services. This is what he is providing personally. And then he's got the affiliates. So what I did was without even including affiliate sponsorship commission relationships, right? Without even including any of that and without including any of outside investments the guy makes on stocks, on crypto, on real estate, on whatever, insurance, not even including any of the compounding accounts that he has, just looking at the activity income, potential revenue, just from the activity revenue here, based off of a 1% conversion rate, off of 197,000 subscribers only, not including the other followers that he has, totaling just under a half a mil. Just looking at the 197,000 subscribers, again, not including over 12 million plus views the guy has, right? So just looking at YouTube alone, what I did was looked at the potential revenue that he's probably doing monetization wise. And I based it off my YouTube channel and I'll share my screen in a minute where I show what my total revenue to date has been over a four year timeline and then comparing it to what he probably has made. Now, my number, this is got, this is definitely conservative is $174,934.05 just from being monetized. This is just YouTube Rev, not any of his products. So that's already a six-figure channel over a course of three to four years. He's probably made that much, if not way more, just from YouTube revenue alone. And the way I got that number was simply looking at my channel, right? So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen real quick. This is his website, but I'm going to go 
to my YouTube channel, my analytics, and all I did was I went to lifetime rev. And as you can see, I've total to date in a four year time frame with 3.7 million views, right? I'm at $50,518.04, right? So if you were to take 3.7 two nine eight hundred ninety two views divided by fifty thousand five eighteen and four cents let's see where are we at so that's uh da, 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 i forget how do i do the math on that to figure out how much i think it actually tells me in my analytics in terms of yeah let's go to revenue there we go this is what i was looking for so my cpm is $33.04 RPM. And this is stuff I don't even fully understand. It's $13.67. I don't know if this stuff is good or bad, whatever the case. But all I did was I was like estimating, trying to come up with, okay, if I go to his channel, right? And we go to about, he's got, so 12,915,884, right? So 12 million, 915 884 divided by 3.7 million 3.729892 that's 3.4 right so if i just so for if i make 50,000 for every 3.7 right just time times that by the amount of views that he's got so 50,518.04 and you'll you'll get the 174,934.58. Now, if his uh, CPM and RPM and whatever the heck all this other stuff means, if his stuff is higher than mine, then he's making more money per view per subscriber, right? And there's a way to break that down. I have no idea how to do it, so I'm not the one to talk on it, but that's how I kind of got my numbers to get some kind of a, a range here, right? Now, coming back to the board here, I'm gonna come back to the board. And notice how we've got, without a doubt, generating at least six figures or more from YouTube Rev alone, then 1% conversion rate on all of the products that he sells, all right? So if you just did 197,000 times 1%, if 1% of his subscribers bought the products, right? 1,970 clients, and let's just say each and every one of those clients buys one of each service at least one time. Obviously that's not the case. And what will end up probably happening is probably have way more clients than what I'm showing. And then you'll see how the numbers kind of play out. This is just me trying to get an average here. Okay. These aren't accurate by any means. Okay. This is just what I would expect, right? As a content creator and just showing you what the opportunity is out there and even if he he or you don't even hit these numbers right away just know it's just a matter of time before the the content starts to pay massive dividends over time right so if you just did 1970 and just times it by each of his products and services that he's offering add up all the numbers this guy is doing seven figures easy right easy day seven figures without a doubt right then if you add in the other streams of income in terms of the affiliate agreements all the sponsorships he's probably doing now we're talking multiple six figures investments that he's making with his own money right stocks real estate that's producing dividends yeah we're talking multiple seven figures without a doubt and this is someone that is again positioning themselves as a financial content creator serving a specific audience and then providing products and services that he wants to specialize in or be known for and so as a fellow financial content creator i am a financial coach financial consultant right i want to be known for teaching Velocity Banking, Infinite Banking, Kingdom Authority. Those are the three main topics that I cover my YouTube channel. And then my passion is working with moms, single moms, divorced moms, widows, moms in general, right? Helping them regain their financial authority in the household, regain their kingdom authority, 
regain walking in their purpose, right? So I'm mixing passion, a storyline that people can buy into, that people love, that people want to be a part of, mixed with experience, knowledge of a topic that they're searching for. They're not searching for my mission or my vision. They're searching for what? The, the topic. How do I do this? When do I do that? Where can I get this? Why is this like that? So all I have to do is create content that they're already searching for, provide value upfront to them, just like this creator is doing, and then have back end services where you can work with individuals one-to-one -one or group settings or masterminds, or you're creating DIY courses, additional chronological order type of material curriculums that people can follow and get massive results from. And regardless of whether or not they buy your coaching or buy your programs, he's got all these other streams that's protecting what he enjoys doing, right? So he's got the stream of being monetized. That's a stream. He's got the stream of credit card relationships, right? Someone clicks on his link to get an Amex card, a Bank of America, Chase, Discover, whatever it is. Either he's getting $25, $25, $25, $50 or points, 1,000, 10,000, 15, 20,000 points. Guys, this is over and over and over and over again. Just for him talking about, hey, download this app. I use it. So should you. I get 50 bucks. You get 50 bucks. Win win. Have a nice day. Regardless of whether that person becomes a client, they were going to get that app anyways at some point in time. So he's capitalizing on saying, hey, use me instead because you watched that, 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 that these videos and I've given you value. Here's how you can show appreciation for that value I'm giving you for free, right? So if we take a look at his website now, right? I want to go to his website and I want you to just see how simple this guy and many other successful content creators position themselves. Simplicity. Look how simple this website is. There's nothing crazy, right? This is my name. Here's how you contact me. Here's a quick quote. Nothing crazy. Hello, right? How you doing? Shop. Visit the store. Okay. Boom. Here are the, here are the products. So he's specializing in credit repair, right? Credit building so that you can what? Get that car. You see how he takes you through a process and he never has to talk to you directly. So he's creating all that passive income. And then if you want to get in on his calendar, you want to talk to him one to one, boom, two options, 30 minutes or a 60 minute recording call. In my opinion, the 60 minutes, a no brainer. Why would I pay 30 for 249 when I just add another hundred, get another 30 minutes, 60 minutes, the things recorded. I keep that. I mean, it's a no brainer, right? By the way, I signed up for a coaching session from him anyways. So I'm looking forward to that. And then as he's taking you through those DIY stuff, then he's got additional courses on top of the low tier product services that he's providing, right? So it's a buildup. He's layering products and services before you even get a hold of him one-to-one. -one his funnel, his process, probably you're hitting his channel, his YouTube free content first. He's making money the moment people watch his channel, right? Then from there, they're like, man, that was a really good video. Let me look at the link below. He said, click the link below. So now I'm going to click the link below. Boom. So you click it, takes you to his website, takes you to his program, right? Let's, let's look at how his funnel is set up. And I went all the way back. In history because I like to see where people come from right? I like to see how where they started right so when you're doing market research as a financial coach as a financial consultant someone that's your you this is what you aspire to do you want to step into the finance space number one thing you should consider is going all in on content creation right all in so look first video 621 views three years ago and I'm just gonna click on it I'm not gonna play the video I'm gonna go here this is where the magic happens in the description. So I look at this. He says, in this video, you'll learn exactly how to start a budget. Today. Boom. All my recommendations. Boom. Books mentioned. Total money makeover. Boom. He's probably getting a commission for that if you click there. If you find my content helpful, become a channel member and subscribe. So 
it's probably he probably has channel memberships where people are paying to get more content or they subscribe and boom so he's monetized that's more money coming in now his video setup 4k camera main lens all right vlogging lens main mic main light hair light fill light tripod anytime you click on any one of those things that's money man and i haven't we haven't even got a hold of him yet there's money in the bank what do you think he's doing with that money he's doing what he's sharing with you improving his credit getting access to credit and capital then he's saving his money he's building a budget what do you think he's doing with his budget he's probably investing right so he's telling you what he's doing in real time as he drops the content and as a financial coach this is how you want to penetrate the marketplace in the 21st century today all in on content creation here's what you'll notice when you create content is you'll know pretty quickly what people want to hear from you right so you may want to talk about god right you may want to talk about you know trauma right financial trauma but if you do a video one day right let's say he did a video on budgeting made easy then he did retire rich then he did bad credit please forgive me right grants pay off student loans then he did best credit cards for college students then he did expense ratio then he did this video right here this is how i initially found him right it got 147,000 views compared to 600 2000 10,000 views leasing secrets how i managed to get a one percent car lease no money down do you know how attracted i was when i first came across that video that helped me get a better lease the second time around once i learned i was like dang this dude just saved me some money not some money a lot of money because i've been leasing ever since right i've been leasing cars since 2015 right it's now 2022 I'm probably on my fourth, fifth car lease right now. And typically I have two car leases going at the same time. One for me, one for my mom. And I'm in the process of getting another car, right? So person is, you're, you're saving people money, right? Through the content creation that you create. They get the value. They get the savings. You keep creating value for those same people. Give them exactly what they want. So I'm pretty sure after he made that video and it low key went viral in his space, right? Maybe he didn't know it right away because he did a video on 800 credit score. Then he did best credit cards, right? All inclusive trips. Are they worth it? Right? How much money should you have saved by 30? Six things I stopped buying, right? All this different stuff. More videos. And then look what he did. Boom. How to negotiate <clears throat> a car lease like a pro. 129,000 views. Much better than every single one of these other videos. Right? Not to say that these are not good videos. It's just his audience wants to know about that more than anything else. Right. And if we keep going down the line, notice how because he got a big wave here. Now his other topic is doing good regarding credit cards. Got 30K views. Right. Pretty interesting. And he kept it going. 8K. Right. Then he did a Roth IRA video. It got nothing. So people don't want to know about that from him necessarily, right? This is beautiful to know what your audience, what your market, what your niche actually wants to hear from you. If you're trying to be a financial coach, financial consultant in the 21st century today, it's a great identifier. Know exactly what the audience wants to know, right? Then look, 15K views. Uh oh. Now the second main topic on his channel is now taken off regarding credit cards. 131,000 views. Oh, shoot. So now he's probably like, yep, I just got to keep these two main topics going. What's he doing? Boom. Another credit card video. Another credit card video. Boom. Lease swapping. Complete guide to a lease takeover. 40K views. Right? Amazon Prime card review. 56,000 views. Uh oh. And now he's probably like, dang, what should I make? Because I know I probably would be doing the same thing. Boom. Now look how, look how each video now is starting to amp up because now he's got a, a core audience probably he's probably got two separate core audiences one one audience that wants to know about the credit card stuff 
and the other audience that wants to know about the car stuff. So look, five ways to end a car lease early, 40 plus thousand views. Look at this one, how to get a business credit card without a business. What? 227,000 views. Look at this stuff, right? And you just kept it going, right? Boom, boom. Now, obviously some videos don't do as, as great, but it don't matter at that point, he's got a base. Once you built the base, then you go back to your audience. Now you start building clientele offline, right? Then he, then he does like a relevant piece of content, stimulus checks, right? Every content creator was talking about that during COVID, right? Around finance. That's another way to remain relevant, right? Is you identify the problems that your clients are going through, not what you want to talk about, right? One of the key things I believe personally, especially in the finance space, if you're someone that wants to create content, you want to serve an audience, right? Yes, have your core values. Yes, have your mission, vision, purpose. Yes, have all that. But remember who and why you're creating content. Why you're creating content, who you're creating content for. Are you creating content for you? Then be upfront about it, right? And just know that if you're not going viral and you got all these videos, nobody's watching it. Just remember, you're doing it for you, not anybody else. But if you're saying, I'm creating content for moms. I'm creating content for dads. I'm creating content for military. I'm creating content for single parents, right? I'm creating content for millennials, Gen Z, baby boomers. Then you ought to know what problems and financial situations and challenges and obstacles and traumas they are going through that they're searching. And then you create content that matches with it, right? So I hope you found value in this case study review, right? Real, real time and just showing you the potential, the opportunity that's there. If you're a financial coach, right? Been coaching offline. You're a struggling financial coach. You're making 50K a year, 75K a year. You basically have a nine to five job. Let's just say that's you. There's a lot of you out there, by the way, right? You're in the Facebook groups. You're in the, the community groups. You're learning from a guru, right? You're, you're getting marketing tips, you're getting sales scripts, you're getting spreadsheets, and you made a pretty website, and you made a cool course, and you did this, and you did all this stuff, but you got no content, then I think you should seriously consider pivoting, going into 2023, we're about to close out 2022, we're going into 2023, or by the time I post this video, we might already be in 2023, I seriously think you should consider going all in on content creation. And so I'll have more case studies like this. If you like this, you're a coach, you're a consultant, you're a strategist, you're an insurance agent, you're in the personal financial space and you're looking to create content around finances. You wanna have a conversation with me? You wanna get a hop on a one-on-one -on -one with me directly or a guy like Nam? Hey, go for it, right? Let's work together. Let's get you to the next level, right? If you want to see more case studies like this, you want me to analyze other content creators just like I did here, let me know in the comments below. Happy to do it. This is in perfect alignment with what I teach already, right? Which is helping you guys get your money in line, whether it's doing velocity banking, debt snowball, debt avalanche, whichever the strategy that we choose that's best for you, right? We're increasing income, we're increasing cash flow, we're reducing expenses by rapidly accelerating your debts, saving you tons of money on interest. Okay, now that we got you in a really good position, cash flow wise, as your financial coach, now I'm talking to you on the mindset, on the purpose, on the values, on the principles, on the legacy, and somewhere in that, there's a business. So now we extract the business, whatever the business is, doesn't have to be around finances, whatever the business is that you wanna do, I seriously think you should consider going all in on content. And so with that being said, my name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. On this channel, we cover velocity banking, infinite banking, and kingdom authority. This is a version of all three of those concepts coming together, but more so authority, having dominion, kingdom authority over your finances, and then stepping in the role of servant. You are a servant when you create content right? You're serving an audience, educational material that either inspires them, motivates them, or encourages them to take action to work with you directly offline via the links. And then you're creating multiple streams of income to protect 
that passion, that purpose that you have. We move forward. Before you know it, multiple six, multiple seven figures. I mean, not bad, right? For majority of people. And then from there, I mean, it's just numbers. Then it's just a matter of creating automation systems to go from seven to eight figures to nine figures to 10 figures and on and so on and so on, right? Great video. Have a wonderful day. God bless. And we'll be talking soon.